I'm gonna eat your food. I broke up a bunch of biscuits in it. I'm gonna eat your foodie. Can we do that? No. He wants to be on camera though. Eat your food. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Gotta go out and start the car. Get it warming up. It's just part of living in the Northeast. Is this freezing cold? You can't just go out to your car and get in it. You gotta start it. Oh, it's freezing cold right now. Holy crap. Looks like Siberia out here. Look at you guys can even see. It's so, so bright. It literally hasn't snowed in weeks. Probably a month there's still snow out here just because it's never above freezing. Start the Civic. Morning girl. Great little car. Get the heat going here, hot. I'll leave it on even though it's cold right now. Where's the squirrels? I should be nice and warm in 15 minutes or so and I'm ready to leave. Hi for her. She's waiting. Wants to make sure I'm not leaving without her. My girl. So going out this morning, gonna get a haircut. Um, maybe get something to eat. Probably gonna bring her with me. Uh, she's gonna have to wait in the car and get a haircut, but that's fine, 20 minutes or so. Just figuring, thinking about what pen I'm gonna take. I always take a pen. Everything, every time I leave the house, no matter where I'm going, I take a pen. Um, all right, a little bit. So this is what I got laying out right now. Just bad, I have these just laying out. Um, this is my Lamy 2000, fine. This is a modern wall ever sharp. Skyline, I got some vintage pens in here, including this, this is a really nice Waterman 56. These are solid 18 karat gold bands. This is a beautiful <laughs> pen. Beautiful. Really nice nib to flex nib. This is a Waterman 7 with the green nib, which is nice. It just is a little bit leaky. This one, it, it, the nib creeps a lot, it gets wet in the cap. This is a Schaefer Balance Oversize. I take this pen a lot. I like that pen a lot. And then I got a little, got a little, uh, what is that? Uh, 52 and a half V. The gold overlay. I have 912 with a Falcon nib out here. A couple more 52s and a 12. I think I'll bring the Falcon today. Probably. I can't think of any time I'm going to be writing with it, but I like to bring it because it's durable and uh, it's got a flex nib so it can impress people if you got to send a receipt or something. <laughs> Enough crying! What are you crying about? <laughs> Figured before I left I would check make sure there's ink in it. I really don't know. There's some. Looks like mostly bubbles. Oh no, there's ink in it. Just slosh it around. Good to go. Come on. Come on. Up and in. There we go. Co-pilot. This is Piper, by the way. I think I've introduced her ever. She's a motley. Cute one, though. About 14 months now, like that. Okay, so if 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 you don't already know, um, I'm also really into cars, um, cars and fountain pens. My two two hobbies. Um, I've been uh, I've been into cars for a long time. I have. Uh, I work at a Mitsubishi dealership, so we're big Mitsubishi fans. I'm also a big Honda fan. Um, this is a 2007 Civic Si. It's my uh, my daily driver right now. Nice old car. Um, I also have a, a 2013 Lancer Evolution, which is my summer daily driver, you could say. 
it's a race car of sorts, but then I have a dedicated race car as well as a 1990 uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse Turbo um, that is currently being overhauled, engine being rebuilt, although it did not break. So people who like to make fun of DSMs for being unreliable, the car has never broken down. Um, just getting rebuilt and we're going to make some serious power with it. But I'm trying to do these vlogs, you know, as much as I can more often just because, uh, you know, I think it's co kind of cool to talk about how the pens play into my daily routine. You know, I like talking about it. I think people will like hearing about it. So I take a pen, every time I leave the house, I take a pen with me. Um, and uh, I like to take, you know, I like to collect vintage pens. And even more so, I like to bring vintage pens with me. I think it's really cool to pull out a pen, you know, if, and if somebody does ask you about it, you just say, hey, that pen's 90 years old. You know, that's really, it's really cool. And the vintage pens is right better. It's ridiculous. There's a TV in this gas pump. I've never seen this, but it's just ridiculous society. So again, I work at a car dealership, obviously, and I work in the service end of things. So you know, my job is pretty hard on pens. I mean, they get they get carried around in my pocket, knocking around in my pocket all day. Sometimes with screwdrivers and stuff. Although I try not to, it, it sometimes does happen. I'm jumping in and out of cars. Um, I'm whipping them out, writing them, you know, a couple times a minute when I'm up in the front of the office. I'm, I'm uncapping, capping my pen a lot. So I need something durable, you know, and I like, I really like to have um, vintage pens that I consider durable, you know, that I'm not scared to bring, to carry around and, and uh, use, you know, in, in, in the office. So a big part of my, not, of my collecting is not just vintage flex and collecting flex nibs but also collecting vintage pens modern pens vintage pens that um are are durable you know good fine nib pens that are durable i like writing with those just as much i love fine and extra fine nibs that are really wet writers just as much as writing with flex nibs i do that at home i have um a couple notebooks that i dedicate just to that so let's see if i can't give you guys a little VTech cross here to do some writing. Civic. This is an SI K20, obviously. Um, this motor's not in main here, so let's see. Good about 56. Piper girl, Piper girl. Hello, honey. Hello, honey bear. Hello, honey bear. She's very excited. She's very excited. Look at that booty. She's very excited. Look at that doggy. She's crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. You know, crazy that puppy is. Look at how crazy she is. She's very crazy. You want to see crazy? She's very crazy. She's very green. Oh, she's very green. She's very green. Why do you look like that? Why are you making that face at me? Because you're crazy? Because you're, you're crazy. Because you're crazy. Because you're crazy. Good girl. I'll show Piper's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why would we not bring her honey bear with us? Who does that? Go someplace without their honey bear. Mm, you're right. Who would do that? Not me. Lucky you. 
I'm vlogging my day today. Uh, well, we're going to the bubble tea place. Okay. Show them what the bubble tea place is. Okay, what is bubble tea? And it was actually, it was actually. Yeah, cookies. I need to look at everything. Mm, these look good. Pork biscuits. Really good. What did you get? I got a Thai iced bubble tea. That's what this is. And it even comes sealed. They have this machine that seals it. Cool. And I got spring rolls and pork dumplings. And I mean spring rolls and shrimp dumplings. That's not right. I forgot what I was writing. You want an eraser? There you go. No. We need to get, um, mint chutney and what else do I have? Just mint chutney. That's not even that Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Mango lassi, the mango pulp's right here. I love this place. So cool. So cool. This is where we're gonna? Yeah. What's it, this one? Maybe I need something right here. It's this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I think that's it. That's all I need. They have it here? Yeah. Oh, I bet. These were really spicy, though. These kebab chickens? What are we gonna eat this with? How do we eat this? On its own. No, I just like the samosas. I don't have any other stuff. No, we're trying it. You want a samosa? Yeah. We didn't order samosas, right? Yeah. We didn't get Indian food. Right. Yeah, so just get one then. We go through a lot. Sev wet. Who is that? Piper, are you driving? You stay, good girl. All right, final stop on our favorite plaza. The best plaza in town. Every store is great. This is amazing. That was the bubble tea. I like it too. You want to see me bubble up, like slurp up a bubble? Yeah. Oh, just I don't go up there. Wonderful, isn't that nice? <laughs> Excellent, thank you for that. Alright. So, this is the writing studio, we'll call it. It's not much of a studio, but this is that. 55 I was telling you about because I just finished restoring it so I left it on stage here because I have taken my pre-writing demonstration pictures of it already so this is that's I do a lot of writing on I have these two uh, fluorescent 
photography lights is really what they are. It's got a white wall behind it, so it gives me some nice light. I normally photograph pens right in here. As you can see, they look really nice. My, my chest of sorts, which has uh, a lot of inks on top. Um, I have waxes, polishes. This before and after pen polish is awesome. This is made by Mark Hoover. His website is lbepen.com, Labella Poke Pen Shop. This stuff is awesome. Really, really good for removing oxidation from hard rubber pens. He has two, a fine and an extra fine. You should get both. I think he sells them together. You pretty much need both, um, but they're awesome. Got lots of inks. Um, I got some pens in here. I got some out there. All in the back there, I got some nice hard rubbers. Some of them are restored. Some of them aren't. Um, yeah, I just got this. Um, Paper and Ink Arts, I think, is the company that makes this. Uh, oblique holder. This is really cool. I've been writing with this a lot. It has a Bross, I think it's called Bross, uh, EF344, maybe? I bought that nib a long time ago. Realized it didn't fit in this uh, cheap little holder that I had gotten at Michael's. And uh, didn't do anything about it until recently. I bought that, that paper and ink arts or whatever the website's called holder. Um, so I've been doing a lot of writing with it. This thing is awesome. This is a lot of fun to write with. Figured why not for the first vlog get the, uh, the pink nib out. Um, it's a Waterman 7 with a pink nib. Really nice. Um, this is amazing. Let me just see that. Love writing with this nib. So anyway, thanks uh, for watching the first vlog I have done. Hope it was interesting to anybody. I'll try and do some more if I can. I think they're fun. See how pens are involved in my daily life. And yeah, that's about it. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.